Another one with that 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 tag axle, man. I tell you, I love that tag axle. I don't, I wouldn't do it to mine, but I, I'd do it to another truck. I think that looks so cool. Sitting out here cleaning my girl up though, getting all my stuff out. I don't give it a. It ain't. I ain't cleaned it in a few months, but I think it's nice. Got everything out, we're gonna get to it now. Let's see what we can do. A little road back here. I like it. Sun's coming up. Water right over there. Looks like a park or something I'm driving through. So morning fog, can't see nothing. out here messing around with his wheels end up renting, meeting a really nice guy he showed me his 359 he just sold that guy that green pete uh, um it's a real nice setup we told him we talked about that we talked did some truck talking but in the anyways you know when you get to talking that truck talk you you just get to talking i i couldn't i wasn't working so i was just talking to him but anyways it took me forever to do one but i got one wheel done and you can kind of see the difference one wheel's done now it's time to get to work so I can get the other one done. Cause I was out here just running my mouth, man. I had a really good conversation with old boy, man. Um, I might actually go by and see some of the other stuff we got, but we got one down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my paint out and paint some of this frame under here and make this thing pop, man. We gonna get some things done. It's a bright morning, man. Let me tell you, I've been a person that's talked a lot of trash about uh, certain things. I'm gonna talk about what that is in a second. This motherfucker move right here. You can't get a good video of my truck. He can pull right in the way. But um, I've always had a kind of feeling when people have spread axles and when they slide the spreads forward. I just I've always hated that when you see when I've seen a truck with a with a smaller spread like this one, like a ten foot spread like this. And then the guy will have it slid all the way up or slid up some, whatever it may be. Always has something to say about it. You know, now I know what they mean. Don't knock it until you try it. Because, uh, you know, I went to a place that got loaded. Told those cats I got a reefer and it spread, you know, and I want the weight on the tail. You know, guys like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I can handle it. I got this. I load trucks every single day. All right, that cool, whatever. Come out. After I get done, get loaded. I pull out. And I'm heavy as all can be on my uh, on my drives. I'm just stupid heavy, like pretty much all the weight. You know, not all the weight, but, I, you know, I can just tell it's just super heavy on the drives. And, um... You know, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna have to slide these goddamn tandems. Or just, these axles, I should say. I slid the axles, drove, uh, drove to, uh, you know, I slid the axles and drove out here to make this delivery. And, um, it rolled so much better, <laughs> turned so much better. Like right now where it's set, it's probably where one of the 48 foot spreads would be. So I ain't gonna lie, with this long ass truck, with it sitting where it's at, it's honestly perfect. I can pull in and out of everywhere I wanna go, you know, and I, you know, and the, what, the thing about the spread not being so far, um, my other trailers with the 11 and 12 foot spreads, um, those when you turn, if you don't drop you know, one of the bags in the rear or the front or one of the, one of the other, when you turn, that bad boy will definitely 
um, drag. You'll feel it dragging as you make a make a turn. So, you know, that makes it kind of cool, you know. Um, it has the hookups for it and all that. You know, we might get to that later. But, yeah, so today I'm going to have to re re retract my statement about, um, I haven't said it on here, but I've said it to friends, you know, when we see a guy with a spread and he's got it slid up, we're just like, man, that looks crazy. Um, and now I get it. So just wanted to get that out there. You know, I'm going to leave it alone now. I ain't going to say so much about it to people, you know, but it is what it is. Man, uh, having a good time pulling this stainless again. I missed it. I really did. Took those couple months off and stayed out of the truck. And did different things, did that truck moving stuff. <clears throat> I feel like myself again, you know? I feel like this stuff is beginning to get fun again and uh, beginning to have a good time and wanting to work on the truck and wanting to you know like my, my old self now i'm tired as heck right now i had to run some automotive overnight to this place but she's just sitting over there minding her dang business can't wait to get the fuel tank fixed i was gonna work on some more stuff today i, I did all the wheels yesterday <clears throat> i'm gonna go probably go back over them um today we'll see um i don't know if it's supposed to rain or not i'll check it in a minute but let me tell you, it's been fun, man. I've been getting a lot of compliments on the truck. And even with the, the jacked up tank, um, you know, and other little things I need to fix, but it makes you feel good again when you're starting to get the compliments again and people giving you the thumbs up and uh, stuff like that. So, but uh, I'm gonna work on some more stuff today. I think I'm gonna wipe it down. Um, put some more polish on some things. And uh, I'd love to go to like a Walmart. I might see if they have like um, a park and grab like a Lyft Uber to um, a Walmart or something. And then um, get this thing all together.